Design has always been important, but I'm hoping now at least people realize the value in optimizing and capturing the context within your design, which you've been always able to do. Just I think maybe now people might see more of the value in it. Creating boundaries that have specific context and using the domain language explicitly about what that boundary does, the concepts, the actions, the events, the reasons why things happen the way that they happen. Understanding, I guess, that CRUD only gets you so far because when you're using CRUD, workflow and all those concepts are in end users' heads. They're not actually in the code in your system, which you, if you're using AI to then generate, it doesn't have any of that context. And of course, as always, manage coupling, managing coupling between these different boundaries, how they communicate. That still is more important than ever. Just because we have AI producing code cheaply in terms of how quickly it can do it, again, you can just still build a turd pile, a big ball of mud, just quicker now if you're not managing the coupling. So in this new era with AI, what do you think? Get in the comments is my favorite part. I want to really know what you think about the future is of design and software architecture. Do you feel like I do, that it's more the fundamentals are more important than ever and hopefully it brings to light understanding context and providing it to AI? Or do you feel like it's still completely irrelevant because it doesn't matter anymore? If you enjoy topics like this and you want to chat with other software developers, both software architecture and design, you can join my channel and get access to a private Discord server. The link's in the description on how to join. And I appreciate everybody. Thank you for everybody that's already a member. Again, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, make sure to leave a comment. And please subscribe for more videos on software architecture and design. Thanks.